everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for April 26, 2023. So the key to today is to allow yourself to continue to tap into the awareness and energies that started for you yesterday and carrying them over more into your actions and allowing yourself to reconsider how you've been expressing yourself, particularly how you've been defining your value or your ability to create or maintain things that you value in your life. And if you find the balance between expansion and reconsideration, then you'll find yourself right in that momentum or the creation of a flow that's going to continue to support you as you continue to redefine and express yourself and just create or manifest or bring forth this new you. I say this because we continue to have the moon in Cancer, so you're feeling that internal intuition, that instinct of what makes you feel at home or where you need to be nurtured or where you haven't been nurtured in ways that you need continues to be highlighted on an emotional level. And the sun is conjunct Mercury retrograde today. So there is this ability to see not only how you're feeling, but also how you've been feeling and what you've been thinking, how it's been shaping your expression of self. And Mercury retrograde gives you the support to tap into this awareness and then find a way to express it, to heal it, to understand it, particularly since we still have the supportive energy from Saturn coming in. Now, we do have the square to Jupiter that can go either way, right? That irritation to this to want to grow and to expand can lead you to consider the energies or the esoteric in life, the spiritual things in life, the religious things in life. This can lead to you realizing that what you've been taught as a child or what you believed in the past isn't really going to take you to where you want to go or isn't in line with your authentic self at this time. And you will be able to release it. Do be mindful, especially when we have a square energy to Jupiter, to not confuse the acquisition with things or of things with the having of a sense of self. This is an energy that I always say to uh, my private clients, cultivate an internal sense of value and knowing in your own compass of life. And then we also have a trying to Neptune, which again increases this energy of your ability to kind of intuit things, to feel things, to grasp the things in the ethereal. And if you allow yourself to tap into the sense with some form of boundary or some form of support, right, then it can, again, allow you to build a really good foundation for who you are and where you're going. Um, as always with these energies, though, it will make you realize what you don't have, right? And don't allow that sense of lack to mean that you can't have it eventually. It's an invitation to find a way to yourself in a sustainable, loving, and expansive way, not necessarily with a huge need to critique. Remember, we do have this murky retrograde energy that is really allowing you to review what you've been holding on to. And you can look at what you've been holding on to and decide that it doesn't work for you anymore and let it go and cultivate things that do. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.